say our flag is a half step. These young men that were killed in Chattanooga, our home state, this past week, I ask that you would remember them for a moment. Gracious Father, we pause tonight to thank you for these young men, the sacrifice that they give, the other men and women that fight for our freedom that we can come out and enjoy this. And Father, we ask that you continue to be with our country. And Father, we, we thank you for the beautiful weather you provided here in Chapel Hill. Well, I'm, I'm John Moses with the Lions Club. Tractor pull, it has gotten to be a national sanctioned event, the National Tractor Pullers Association. And they have a tour just like uh, national football, just like uh, NASCAR. This is, the, I think, the third year that Duck River has been involved with the tractor pull. This is a, a very big event for the community, for this little town, Chapel Hill. Um, and uh, this is actually the first year that we have opened it up to other cooperatives in the state. It's not only a Duck River event, but we're involving all the cooperatives in Tennessee to show the true cooperative spirit. Is that, you know, somebody called, we, we, come, well, we come running. So let's get the drilling, get the flowing, and it just feel good. Another co-op call you. Then when you see somebody two years down the road, I say, oh, I remember you from somewhere else, it just makes it feel good. Working at a co-op is unique and, and special because of our priorities. Our priorities are about people, our priorities are about doing what's right for our communities, and that's a pretty neat thing. Okay, there'll be um, roughly three to four hundred volunteers here this weekend, and that's the only way we can possibly put this on, uh, the, the man hours that are needed for uh, the production of this uh, this event. Co-ops are different because the people that own us are the people in our communities, and that makes it incredibly important for us to not be sitting behind a fence somewhere, but to be out among among our members, helping them to understand what we are and what we do. And, uh, and why we're different. And that's, uh, that's why community is such a big part of, of the co-op business model. The communities we serve are family. Not only are the employees that we work with family, but the communities we serve are our family. And I just think it's so important to give back to the community because they let us turn their lights on every single day. Well, it's just not uh, giving electricity to customers. It's more or less giving that hands-on, a friendly, a personable type of image and working with them as well as we are community involved. We do a, we, we do a lot of giving back to our communities and I think it, uh, we try to do the thing that's right. Uh, we really care about our communities and we, we live in our communities so a lot of times we just want to give back. I really appreciate our cooperative especially this past winter the hard work the men done, the power lines were down, they were out working in the cold and ice. I appreciate them getting electricity back on as fast as they did. Our focus in Tennessee for the last year has been how co-ops power everyday lives. And what we mean by that is, is we've spent a lot of time talking about how co-ops do more than keep the lights on. But we we help educate uh, students in the communities that we serve. We work uh, in economic development to bring jobs and bring investments to our community. Uh, we do a lot of things that go beyond keeping the lights on. And uh, the whole power everyday life theme that we've had this year is, uh, is a neat way of demonstrating that.